Yeah, this is the DIY panel that I had uh, that was made in the late 1970s, early 1980s. I spent the weekend and uh, set up a little stand for it. I'm going to continue to do that. I got the other posts for my other panels. You can see it's uh, damaged, but it, it's still producing power. It's a uh, pretty hot right now. <laughs> um, it's about a 45 degree angle. You can see a side view post here. And the way I built this is that I pounded in a old fence post, two inch fence post. It's kind of muddy right now, but it'll dry. I used a board right here and put uh, the U-bolts right here. I got two. And a screw, screwed in the post right here. This is actually a hinge, a, a heavy duty door hinge, uh, connected to leftover Unistrut that I had from my other system. Basically, put one screw just holding that in. Um, this is one of the panels that I measured 2.2 amps for the other day. Here is the junction box, and as you notice, you can see that it's kind of ripping off there, so I need to repair that. I'm going to actually replace this entire cable here that uh, came with the panel, and then take out the junction box. It's just Phillips screws holding that in. But as you can see, it's very sturdy right now, and works. And then here's my bay of the other panels, the grape solar panels and the junction box. So what I'm going to do is set up all the panels here. So I have a nice row. Let me go in the front here. Okay. Um, that shed is going, by the way, so that'll that'll be gone. I'm wanting this whole area basically to be my solar panel farm for the future. I'm going to put uh, three to four more posts for future solar panels. I'm going to build those over the next couple of days or weeks. Put in the posts. Put in the old solar panels here. So we have each of the solar panels. I'm going to put a junction box and then use electrical conduit and go underneath to this junction box. I'm in this junction box for future uh, to basically go into where my batteries and controller and inverter are in the shed here. So that's the setup. Okay. And I have a multimeter set up right now. Okay. Just a very cheap Harbor Freight multimeter. A lot of you probably recognize that. Okay. And I have it on DC 200. I'm going to turn it on. Let's measure. Well, that's pretty good. So it's about 18.2, 18 volts. And again, this is no load. So that's normally what a 12, 12 volt panel will put out under no load is about anywhere from uh, 17 to 18 volts. So this is actually doing pretty well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to change this to amps. Okay. So we'll put the connection there and I'm going to put a small load. What the multimeter will do, this cheap multimeter will put a load on the panel to simulate how many amps uh, the panel will be producing. So again on the back of my panel I wrote 2.2 amps and that was in full sun the other day. So I've cleaned the panel, mounted it, it's at a higher angle. So let's see what it produces. So I'm going to turn it on now and oh wow it is reading 3.25 amps which is actually very good very good for no load so or the uh, simulated load on this multimeter so that's actually pretty good okay. so I'm gonna uh, probably hook these up over the next few days and I'll make another video about that yep 3.26 amps very good